My name is Mark and we're going to look at how to write employment contract. The very need for an employment contract these days is standard, primarily because we're looking from both sides, from both perspectives. The employer wants to ensure that the employee will work to the rules and regulations and requirements of the company. And of course the employee wants to ensure that they will receive the, the relevant payment and work within certain conditions uh, and have certain benefits for the privilege of performing those functions. So both parties need to be gaining out of this particular agreement and hence the need for an employment contract, which is form a formal um, legal binding document between employee and employer. There are many types of employment contract. The most, two most common ones are uh, full-time and temporary, so part-time uh, contracts. And this indicates that you're either working for a company for the entire duration of the week and month or on periodical basis based on specific project work. Either which way, uh, the information laid down in this agreement will indicate the hours of work, the payment methods per hour, per month, the expectations of the company, what duties and responsibilities the employee has. So these will be listed from starting work at 8.30 and finishing at 4, uh, writing company papers, uh, coming up with company initiatives, marketing or sales related functions, whatever it happens to be, and they should be detailed. This needs to be very specific because of course if there's any dispute, then the management team can call upon specific aspects of that functionality that potentially the employee hasn't fulfilled. From a employee's perspective, the hours need to be written down, the payment terms, the benefits, the environment, the holiday and sickness benefits. So again, the employee needs to know what they are entitled to within a given period of time. Now, a lot of times companies have what they call a trial period, which is standard maybe two, three months, depending on the, the countries, where the employee and the company have time to evaluate each other, basically, to make sure it's a suitable fit. The employee is happy with his or her environment and the organisation is happy with the work they're getting. After that three month period, if both agree to continue, then there'll be a more, f um, then that three month period is null and void and a new, uh, say, updated or amended contract will take place and then maybe more favourable terms are offered. It has been, for example, known that an employee during the uh, trial period may be offered a lesser sum of money and on the completion of that trial period successfully on both sides will resume the actual offered amount from that time. So all of this information needs to be detailed in the agreement so that there can be no uh, uncovered areas or any surprises for either party.